Korea's military says North Korea launched the most ever short range missiles in one day, at least 23 aimed at the Korean Peninsula, coming in response to Seoul's latest weapons testing. So, joining us now with more on these new developments, on Balance host Leland Vitter. So, Leland, this really does seem like a major escalation from, from the North. I mean, is it fair to say this is a sign of something more to come? It's a sign that the North wants something, right? They engage in this form of blackmail pretty often, uh, whether it's nuclear weapons testing, whether it's short-range missile testing. These missiles don't hit anything, right? They fall in, into the water. So uh, this is a, just another form of blackmail by Kim Jong-un, and, and his economy is in shambles, even worse than normal after COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, his people are starving, as per usual, and, and this is how he gets what he wants. But but is he getting anything by doing this? Well, we'll see, yeah. right? In terms of in terms of what the cave is from South Korea, and oftentimes after this, you'll see um, not a really a relaxing of sanctions necessarily, but you'll see food aid flow in, or you'll see China broker something something that the North Koreans are able to get, whether it be hard currency or whatever, so that that Kim Jong Un feels like the the West is back down in some way. All right, so, so let's stay uh, on North Korea here. There are new reports that, that the country is secretly supplying Russia with weapons to use uh, in Ukraine. Now, they are mostly outdated equipment that we're talking about here. But is there a point when the U.S., when the West just says enough? Well... Maybe. And then what do we do? Are we going to sanction North Korea more? Uh, that would be hard. Are we going to invade it? No. Are we going to sink the freighters carrying this? Probably not. Are we going to do drone strikes on the trains carrying this ammunition? Unlikely. The second bounce to this story is not so much that North Korea is helping Russia. Bad boys help bad boys all the time. That's, right. that's the alliance. The bigger question to me is, what is North Korea getting in return? The one thing that Russia has a lot of is nuclear weapons. The one thing they have even more of is nuclear expertise. Right. They also have a lot of expertise in longer range weapon systems and longer range ICBMs and that technology and missile technology. If they're giving that back to the North Koreans, that may be a lot more concerning than simply the, the Russians have more artillery shells now to fire into fields in Ukraine. Well, you just made me think of something real quickly. Do you think Putin, though, would be willing to give up any of those nuclear weapons? Well, he's got he's got thousands, and remember, he can make more. Yeah. Making nuclear weapons is, is not a, a, a gone art, um, and he also has scientists who need jobs and uh, missile defense production facilities that need to be able to sell things to bring in hard currency into Russia Good right point. now. Yeah. Uh, North Korea is a, a great market for that. All right, Leland, uh, what's on the show tonight? Uh, not talking about that. Mostly, we're talking about President Biden's speech okay. uh, that he's giving at the top of the hour. Very odd. Uh, all of a sudden, President Biden announced a 7 p.m. Eastern speech uh, to talk about threats to democracy, but it's a political speech given at Union Station in D.C., which is now a ghost town because of the pandemic and because of crime. Uh, the, the, this is sort of the second big gaffe from the White House uh, over the past week, and also some of the media coverage uh, over the past 24 hours of the midterms mm -hmm. has given us a really clear indication of how Democrats think the midterms are going to go, mm -hmm. um, and we'll, we'll break that down. All right. Well, we blame we'll game has already started. We'll be watching, Leila. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.